Hi, this is J main online exam question, which was conducted on April 9, 2016. Straight lines topic. The point two comma one is translated parallel to the line x minus y is equal to four by two root three units. If the new point Q lies in third quadrant, then equation of line passing through this Q and perpendicular to given line is what? Here, to solve this question, I am going to apply symmetric form or distance form of a straight line. What is symmetric form of a straight line? That is nothing but x minus x1 by cos theta is equal to y minus y1 by sin theta is equal to r. By using this, you can write x is equal to x1 plus r cos theta and y is equal to y1 plus r sin theta. Therefore, the required new point that is q should be in the form of x1 plus r cos theta and y1 plus r sin theta. Here, x1, y1 given that is nothing but given points 2 comma 1. Right? And r also given. What is r? 2 root 3 units. Here you have to calculate cos theta and sin theta values. Right? How to calculate cos and sin? Just observe here. By using given line, what is the given line here? That is x minus y is equal to 4. Right? By observing given straight line, you can write slope of that line. Okay? What is slope of the line? A slope of the line can be represented by tan theta. Tan theta is nothing but minus x coefficient by y coefficient. This is minus 1 by minus 1 that is equal to 1. If tan theta is equal to 1, what is theta? Good. Theta is equal to pi by 4. Right? If theta is equal to pi by 4, what is cos theta? Cos theta is equal to 1 by root 2. Sin theta is equal to 1 by root 2. Why? Because sin pi by 4 and cos pi by 4 values are nothing but 1 by root 2. Right? Now here, theta lies in third quadrant. Right? According to the given concept, where is Q? Q is in third quadrant. Therefore, take theta in third quadrant. If theta is in third quadrant, cos theta is minus 1 by root 2 and sin theta is equal to minus 1 by root 2. Right? So, why we got in third quadrant, both cos and sin are negative. Okay? Now, apply all the values here. The Q point is x1 plus r cos theta. What is x1? 2 plus r. What is r? 2 root 3 units. Cos theta is minus 1 by root 2. Y1, what is y1? 1 plus r 2 root 3. Sin theta again minus 1 by root 2. So, this is nothing but 2 minus root 6, comma 1 minus root 6. Right? So, here you got Q point. Now, come to the next concept. What we have to calculate here? We have to calculate equation of a line passing through this Q and perpendicular to the given L. Right? What is L? That is x minus y is equal to 4. The line which is perpendicular to x minus y is equal to 4 can be written as x plus y is equal to k. Right? So, very simple concept. Writing of perpendicular lines. x minus y equal to 4 is a given line. Then you can write perpendicular line to x minus y equal to 4 is x plus y is equal to k. I am writing it as equation 1. This line passing through which point? Q point. Right? Now, substitute the Q value here. That is x is 2 minus root 6 plus y is 1 minus root 6 is equal to k. That implies k is equal to 3 minus 2 root 6. Right? If k equal 3 minus 2 root 6, what is the required line? That implies substitute k value in 1. That is x plus y is equal to 3 minus 2 root 6 is our final required step. Right? Okay.